Uh, when I first started trying to test, I had recently discovered tape. Uh, oh. oh, it's just command plus. Where? There we go. Uh, I just recently discovered tape. If you haven't checked out tape as a node or JavaScript testing library, I highly recommend it. It has one setup function and four assertion functions, and that's it. Uh, it's very, very awesome. I keep losing my cursor. The screen being on the left versus the... Yeah, it's... Um, so anyhow, I just recently switched this over to Mocha uh, simply because I switched to Visual Studio Code, which has Wallaby support, which automatically runs the test. So way down in the, in the bottom, you see the little check mark and the one. So that's automatically running this test on save, uh, which is kind of nice. But... Uh, this is pretty straightforward. I'm creating a virtual DOM. Actually, I'm not even creating a virtual DOM. It's basically just a representation of a DOM object. So no Karma, no Phantom JS, as low overhead as possible. And then I created this crazy little test helper file that basically the find rendered DOM component by tag and find scry, render, DOM component, pfft, all that stuff's stupid. So give me simple methods. And I'm, I'm just, I'm pulling those in and re-exporting them because I don't want to have to remember find, render, DOM components by tag versus find, render, DOM component by tag. And I have to look that shit up all the time. So just give me something simple, put it in a, in a thing, and let me export it. Um, and then, I have uh, basically creating my own render function here that calls test utils render into document, uh, render into document that has, uh, takes the component class and then uh, takes the properties objects and then uses fancy ES6 object rest spread. Is that spread or is that rest? Spread. I always get too confused. Anyhow, so. That will render the component into, into the document. Uh, but then with the, the stateless components, you have to have some way to wrap it so that uh, you're creating an actual React component because that just returns a function. Um, so where did that test go? So then I'm importing everything from that test helper. I'm creating my virtual DOM before all the test runs. And then basically I am, I've got my component. I'm passing it an instance of React because Angular kind of spoiled me on dependency injection. So instead of importing React all over the place, I like to import it at my top level component and then pass it down through functions all the way. And then I'm wrapping that uh, component in my wrap function. And then I'm calling all of that in render so I get the actual output. So if I were to this output. Uh, it should run. I ran, but it's not logging. Somewhere. I have a terminal. Oops. There we go. I 
did it put it back over here? I'm so sorry. I was not ready for all of this. There we go. There it is. Should. There we go. So then we get Tmux. We get all of the properties on that output. So the props, the context, the refs. So then we can assert certain things, obviously. Um, so one of those um, is I'm finding the rendered element by the tag of span because the only thing this does right now is says hello world. And then I'm essentially just asserting that the text content equals hello world. Um, when you get actual components, you can assert a lot more, like you can double check that if you have a UL and you pass it specifically three items in state, you can make sure that the, chi the children array on that UL element has exactly three items. Uh, there's all kinds of crazy stuff. But this guy being that it's brand new and it's just a pure function or a, a pure component stateless, it doesn't really have anything yet because this is a brand new project. So this came from my own craziness. Um, so you have to have it in there for JSX, uh, to, for JSX to compile. And essentially what would end up happening here is I would have Right, so I would have that, and then in here I would say, actually, it would probably be here. Right, so then I would pass React on down for whatever I needed. But it's, you're right, in this instance I don't need it. I was just pulling it in. No. I mean, it was just, it was my way of getting around of importing React into every file. Yeah. And just having one, what I ran into, um, we were doing this library of small reusable components at work. And uh, everybody was importing React into their components and somebody had ran npm update so we had like 1401 or 140rc2 in one component and 140rc3 in another and it just blew up so that gave me the idea of let me let me get this single point of react and well we've since com moved all of those components into one into one project, Sounds which, right. yeah. We've, we've done that too. I mean, is that a, is that a, I don't know, I don't know much about NPM, but is that an area where like pure dependencies versus? Uh, so NPM, I've actually gone to, I lock all of mine. I don't use any. So my parent project in this case is a middleman statically generated site that the only, the way the components are used is the, we render the target element and then just have our, our giant. Um, I'm, I'm just trying, I'm just sitting here trying to understand a little bit more. Yeah, no, 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 I understand. 
I'll show you as soon as I can get Chrome to cooperate and give me a new window. The other reason why we combine everything is if you're developing a portal tab and we have all these components and you want to change one, you have to go into that repo, you have to get updated, you have to push it in here, we have to go and update it. Just oh, got to be. I've been, I've been through this before. <laughs> so I've started using it. I use it in the link. So you can just do a uh, I'll to the, your local okay. forward. So we do all of these marketing sites. Okay. Um, and they every single one of them has these common components, uh, which is this black bar at the top that has the, the store that you're on. It has the link to the weekly ad, shopping list. It has the sign-in. And some of these, while they don't seem very dynamic and that they would need a bunch of JavaScript, if you go to any of our other banners, oops, you'll see that it's exactly the same, but all of those switch based on the TLD that you're on. Yeah. So then the only way to do that is with JavaScript. So we ripped all of that stuff out uh, and turned it into this reusable component library. And that's where we ran into problems. Um, and like I said, this is just a middleman statically generated site. So we can't, we're not importing anything. We're just dropping the script in and then there's a target div for that guy that it hits. So. But yeah, we've got this, this calendar guy. It's, uh, it actually has some, some fetching. Um, it talks to an endpoint to get whatever coupon that you can download for the day. So it gets that data from a, an endpoint and double checks the day to make sure that we're on the proper day so people can't hack the browser to open up all the, the deals. Now, are you using, are you doing uh, just simple component did mount on those, but we have uh, components that need to be able to talk to each other. So we implemented Flux and it's just basic nature. So we didn't really think we needed all the overhead of Redux. Um, now that we've tested this and it's battle hardened, well, I'm probably going to move it to Redux because it's going to just grow and expand over time. But this is all very well tested. I don't have that code on this laptop, and I would probably get in trouble if I shared it. But, but it's all out there. Um, it's pretty good. Apparently, this does not like that console.log that was in that test. But yeah, that's, uh, that's what it is. And if you haven't checked out tape, definitely check out tape. Tape is a, a assertion library for JavaScript that has one setup, one test function, and four assertion here. Mocha's the Mocha's the runner. Um, Mocha's still around. This isn't a runner. This has. Sorry, this has been around for a while. Okay. Tape. Tape. Yeah. I, I wrote the tape a long time ago. But I mean, my my the biggest thing is like it's just there's nothing there. It's just JavaScript. It's no other DSL you have to learn. <coughs> and it has the test function, plan, end, fail, pass. But then like when it comes to to Asserting you have equal, not equal, deep equal, and not deep equal, which are really like the only four functions you need. <laughs> well, keep it loose, man. I mean, there are more. There's more to it, but really, you don't need all of that. But yeah, JavaScript's my jam, man.
test your React components.